Okay, so this is an explanation video to the universal build template. Uh, just a heads up, this uses the second method that I talked about in another one of my videos. It requires a background image in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. As you can see, this background here is of size 1366 by 768, which is 16 by 9, like the iPhone 5. Also, this template does not stretch any images. The cir All circle actors, for example, will remain perfect circles as opposed to stretching them and turning them oval as some other techniques have caused. Uh, this template should be used on your iPad projects and they will work for, there are designed to work in general so they will convert your game to any scale no matter what device it's on not just the iPhone or the legacy iPhone but in fact all Android devices will auto adjust and even the Kindle and so on so what you have to do first thing you need to do is change the following two attributes on your own the build platform width and the build platform height since you need to start off with an iPad project, these values will be either these values will be 10, 20, 24, and 768, or the other way around if you're working in a portrait mode. Now this template will work for both because it works for the general case. I will show you both in a second. So both portrait and landscape mode games will work with this. Also, you need to see if you use any pause behaviors in any of your scenes. If you do, you need to check that off. I suggest you try to build your games without any pause scenes. Not only for the fact that they will add loading times, but also because you will need to add a lot of rules into all of your actors like this one right here. You will need to drag this rule into just about every actor in your game, and that could be very tedious. This is because the current method of moving the camera origin uh, reverts back to zero once the game is paused and it just doesn't look good as many people have noticed on the message boards. So lastly what you need to do is identify any actors in your game, in fact all actors and categorize them in the following three categories. Actors that are on non scrollable layers, you need to add all these rules too. Hopefully you don't have many of those. Actors relative to frame, you need to add all rules in here too. And by that, I mean things such as a button that you want placed nicely in the top, cor top left corner as this one, or maybe in the top right, which could be a home button or a pause button or whatever it may be, so that it stays relative to the edge of the device and not relative to the its current position. And lastly, you have all those other actors that need to stay in their current position relative to the background. And those you may not have to add anything to if you don't have any pauses, as I said earlier. So now to test it all out and show you guys what it should look like. Uh, let's begin with the iPhone. You need to have the crop option selected. This is very important. Also, you need to reset the scene when you're testing to see how it will look. Since each one of these rules needs to fire off once the scene initially loads on whatever device it may be. Now let me show you the iPhone legacy. And as you can see, everything fits nice and perfectly and the buttons readjust to their new positions. And let me just show you, this would also work for things such as the Nook. Let me make that smaller. And there you have it. And basically what the method is, is that you need to drag this unlocked actor, which is right here in the back, back, back of your most bottom layer. And this will take care of all the camera math and all the origin movements and reference frames and all that. There's notes in there, so you can figure that out on your own. 
And now, just so I can show you that this works for all methods, I'm going to show you the portrait mode. And now, just to fill up my screen, I'm going to position this in the middle. I'm going to move these buttons around a little bit just so you, I can simulate some sort of a portrait game that you may have. Let's move that. And don't forget, lastly, to swap those two values around. Since now that we're in portrait, your width is your height and your height is your width. And whoops, that's landscape. You set, and there you have it. Everything fits properly on a new iPhone. Same with the old iPhone. And one last thing I want to show you is that problem with the pause that's what has been happening to many of you on the forums um, there is a workaround for this but it's sort of tedious basically all you have to do is move every one of your actors over instead of moving your camera origin I'll show you the fix for it right now but again this isn't something I advise you going back into your projects and doing for every one of your actors so here's my pause, and there it is. Our, sip, our scene did not shift over. All right, I hope you have fun.